Hey guys, Travis Schiffner here, nutritional and health coach. I am cooking a healthy alternative today to spaghetti. So I wanted to go over all the ingredients. I am not a cook. My wife is the only one that can cook. I suck at cooking. So I will go over all the ingredients and then she has made, she has already made the stuff because I don't know how to make like a cooking show and make it all cool. So this is the best you get. So let me see if I can turn the camera around and look at, and I can't, what is that button? That's a still photographer, we'll just do it this way. So, um, I use gluten-free pasta. If you don't have a gluten allergy or a gluten intolerance, I have a gluten intolerance, meaning I break out like little rashes and stuff if I eat too much gluten. So I prefer the gluten-free pasta. This one is awesome. Um, if not, Anything with high fiber um, and high protein content, anything with a lot of wheat is fine as long as you're not having problems with wheat at all. So there's also multi-grain with quinoa and all kinds of good stuff. The trick is to get the more, the more fiber you get, the better. This is every vegetarian's dream. This is called nutritional yeast, and even though it sounds terrible, it's actually fantastic. So the one thing about vegans is they always say, oh, you don't get enough protein, or you don't get enough vitamin B12. Well, um, vitamin B12 doesn't come from animal products. It comes from bacteria. So they grow bacteria, which sounds horrible, on molasses, and then they heat the bacteria up, which kills it, and it is... I know it sounds terrible, but it tastes really good. <laughs> it is full of protein and fiber. So for every two tablespoons, you get four grams of fiber and almost 10 grams of protein. And it's full of other vitamins and nutrients, but vitamin B12 it has 400% of your RDA. So all the people that always, where do you get you won't take vitamin B12 if you don't eat it? You get plenty of it right here because it comes from yeast or it comes from bacteria. So that, how much do you mix in with your pasta sauce? Two tablespoons? It's Roughly? Just, it's taste. It's just a taste? Okay, it's just a taste. Sauce. So it has like a cheesy kind of flavor to it, like a okay. thickening yeah, and a yeah, cheesy flavor. Cheesy, put in a lot. Okay. So. We use Newman's Own. You can pick which one you want. Um, most spaghetti sauces are made with canola oil. This one is made with olive oil. And while they're both healthy, olive oil is healthier. And if you're not using it to cook with, it's got um, all kinds of cool properties. It like helps you absorb calcium better. It's higher in nutrient content than, than canola, canola oil. And although this tastes good, my wife makes it better. So here's how she does it. So this is probably the most powerful, one of the most powerful superfoods you're ever gonna find. Um, the, and I cannot for the life of me remember the sulfur compounds that are in this, but incredible anti-aging, antifungal, antibacterial. Um, oh my gosh, it's so full of stuff that you just, it's crazy. So when you crush the garlic, you crush it and you let it sit for a while because the uh, ass, I can't remember what they're called. The, the things that, the sulfur compounds that give you the smell the longer that they interact, the better the garlic's gonna be for you. So let it sit for a while before you add it to whatever it is you're gonna add it to. And this, I mean, like right here. Basil, fresh basil, if you can get it. Um, Anti-inflammatory. Um, any of your herbs are gonna be really, 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 really high in antioxidant properties, so even more so per gram than some of your heavy hitters like kale and broccoli, things like that. And she uses, what'd you do with the? She uses um, mushrooms. And she cooks her mushrooms in avocado oil, which is a very healthy oil and has a very high smoke point, like 500 degrees. So it's good for cooking. Outside of that, she makes the spaghetti, like everybody makes spaghetti, the dogs are underfoot. Um, then she makes the sauce. I really need to get like a camera. 
After she makes the sauce, we add, which is probably not the healthiest, but it's definitely healthier than the alternative. So instead of adding hamburger, we add something called textured vegetable protein. So what that is, is it looks, to, it, to me it looks like grape nuts. It has the same consistency as grape nuts. And when you reconstitute it in water, it has the same texture as hamburger. And all it is, is it's soy flour and water. It's not that, it's very processed. So it's, it's not the healthiest alternative to some other things like eating it without, but it definitely gives you that texture that hamburger would give you. And it's no fat, all the soy oil is pressed out of it. So there's no fat, it's really high in protein. And the alternative to hamburger that, I couldn't find any statistics that give me an exact answer, but a lot of hamburger is treated with ammonia and irradiated they use radiation to kill the salmonella which is you know not salmonella e coli which is better than getting a coli but i'd just rather not so outside of the other benefits of not eating meat less heart disease all that other stuff so i think that's it i will uh i'm gonna go eat